um, other than it's going to be expanding the pool of people with insurance and people will be able to get into the system and get health care that they need and, and they'll, be, they'll be coming to see us. Right. Um, you take people who have only Medicaid? Uh, we, we take I people mean, that only have... Med Medicare is what I meant. Oh, well, Medicare. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I mean, there's, there's different types of Medicare, but there's straight Medicare, and then there's some Medicare HMOs run, okay. run by insurance companies. But they're trying to cut the amount of money they pay you, aren't they? Oh, they're always trying to cut back the amount of money that they're, they're paying us. I mean, they've, they've been doing that for decades. But you persist, because I mean, other doctors have turned people away. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they reimburse us less now than they did uh, 15 years ago. Huh. Um, so, um, yes, that that's certainly put some pressure on us. And, and um, for, for my type of doctor, um, there's, there are financial pressures. There's a lot less uh, medical students that want to go into my field of medicine. Yeah, um, yeah. They all um, want to specialize. Yes, they, they want to specialize, you know, that they can get a greater income they have they have uh, you know they won't have to work as hard necessarily and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have less stresses um, so uh, I'm, I'm I'm no I'm not discouraged I mean I'm certainly hopeful I mean this this um, again will will increase the access to uh, to people with uh, the the ability to to get into the healthcare system and and there'll always be people that will want to provide uh, um, medical care. I mean, it's it is a very rewarding profession. Yeah, I would think um, so. Uh, there there is I I think plenty of work left to be done. I mean, I think this this bill is just a starting point. I mean, this oh is, yeah. Yeah. This really. What are the uh, specifics that you really see is needed to get some attention over the coming years? Well, um, this what this bill appears to do. There are there are some restrictions that it's going to be putting on the the big insurance companies. Yeah. As far as their ability to um, de deny people medical care um, for certain conditions and so forth, I'm not sure how much is going to be reigning in the cost. Um, there is going to be some oversight on, on the insurance companies. Um, they, they certainly do need some of that. Um, and and it, this, this bill may be turning them into more like public utilities than, than private companies mm -hmm. as far as their ability yeah, to right, set become rates. Regulated, yeah. and, yes, and become regulated, and, and that certainly is needed. Um, it, one thing it, it doesn't do, though, it, it's still relies a lot on private insurance companies, for-profit yeah. companies, um, to provide uh, medical insurance to people. And, you know, we have a long history of that in country, mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I certainly don't ob object to that. Mm -hmm. But uh, for many people, having an alternative like a government-run insurance po uh, policy, like yeah. a government option, yeah. uh, would be a, a viable alternative and, mm -hmm. and probably is, is something that's going to have to be worked into the health care system into the future. Eventually. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's just, um, I mean, they, they wanted to do that with this bill, but they just were not able to. No, and as, as we discussed earlier, there isn't an industrialized country in the West that does not have some sort of a national health service. Exactly. The government, government offered... Um, Yes, insurance plan. Yeah, um, and, and most most industrialized companies um, have have a mixture of of, of public and private insurance, yeah. Yeah. and 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 it's gone back and forth somewhat. There are some companies like uh, Great Britain which rely much more on a public system. But there is a private. <clears throat> there is a there is the a private. UPA, but boy, it's expensive. <laughs> yes, there is, um, and I know in France, for instance, they they. Uh, Back in the 1980s, when they when they went to a socialized government under Mitterrand, they yeah. they really expanded their their health care and relied much more on a on a government run socialized medical system. But what they found out um, was that that was very expensive and right. very inefficient, and so they have gone back somewhat to more of a mixture of private and, and public. Well, they'll probably but, go back to more public <clears throat> after the next election. It's yes. like Sarkozy's well, going there, down there's, the <laughs> there's always a, 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 a you know, up and down balance yeah. of the two. But um, that I think we need a little bit more of the public here in, in, here yeah, in this country. Yeah. Um, and, and, but I, 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 I mean, I 
don't certainly can't see that eliminating the 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 any type of private insurance no, is no. going to be possible, even or even um, um, uh, something that we would want, because having having that there, I think, is is always going to be a well. You as necessity. a doctor has you know mm -hmm. I've read all the horror stories, not all of them, but a lot of horror stories that just made me cry, and you've probably experienced them. People cannot afford the health care that's going to keep them alive, and they die. Oh, I've, I've yes, it's absolutely. Horrible. I've seen it. I have had patients that have had cancer and heart disease, and they've they've they they lose their job and they lose yeah. their health insurance. And and they they have medical conditions that just price them out of the um, uh, medical insurance market, and they cannot get health care. And they have these conditions that need health care. Mm -hmm. uh, that need they need to visit doctors. They they need to have tests done. They need to uh, to take medications, and they they don't do these things. Mm -hmm. Because they can't afford them, and and uh, it certainly has huge negative health consequences. Of course, and um, and 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 certainly the type of medicine that that I went into, um, you know, believing that b prevention um, is is a big part of uh, of mm -hmm. medicine, mm -hmm. and and trying to address and control these problems before they get out of hand. Yeah, you know. Um, Having someone, you know, have a, a glucose meter and check their blood sugar and 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 pay for their medication uh, is much more cost efficient to a society as a whole than not taking care of their diabetes and ending up with, uh, oh, sure, you yeah. know, having their leg amputated and Ugh. having having them go on dialysis. I mean, those those are those are just. Uh, um, cost benefit analyses that that um, private insurance companies um, tend not to look at. They're very yeah. more short term profit oriented. And again, that goes back to they're just doing what what comes to them naturally. Do you and think this will make them take a, another look at themselves? Maybe because their PR now is horrible. Well, I I think they're just going to continue to try to find ways to maximize their profit as best they can. I mean, uh, that there just has to be capitalism. ways to, to exactly, um, to uh, o oversee and control these. Okay. Um, we're coming up to the wrap, believe it or not. Oh. Time flies. Mm -hmm. um, just quickly, how, you've been here for 17 years practicing? With, yes, some, with somewhere Dr. in there, Shampoo. 17, 18 years. 17 or 18 years. Have you enjoyed it? Obviously, you've not you've not left. Uh, yes, I'm st I'm still here. I'm in, I'm I'm enjoying it. Uh, and yes. you've seen a lot of changes in Bowie. Uh, it's it's it certainly has grown a lot. Yeah. Well, your <laughs> office been here. is usually packed. <laughs> um, we've got uh, plenty of business. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doctor, thanks a lot. It was great having you on. Well, John, appreciate thank you the very information, much. Mm -hmm. and uh, thank you, viewers, for tuning in. Uh, we'll be on again next week, and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.